Now, we're talking about the pediatric formulation from Pfizer-BioNTech that was approved by Health Canada on Friday. This is the only vaccine currently approved in this country for the age group. Now, as pointed out by officials, Pfizer says its vaccine for kids has proven to be 91%, nearly 91% effective, and it has been determined to be safe by Health Canada, with Saskatchewan also saying that it will be receiving about one 112,000 doses. Well, with that, let's go to Hillary Johnstone. She was listening alongside us uh, in Ottawa. So now Saskatchewan adding their voice to how they're going to roll out the vaccine this following Ontario earlier today. Hillary, uh, what stood out for you? Well, I think the fact that they're going to do this in various stages. So she started there by talking about how at first they're going to be using some of those mass vaccination sites, uh, which will be familiar to adults who've already to gone, to, uh, gone to get their shots. They'll be the same sites. And then as they go along, as the weeks go along, they'll start to use different sorts of facilities. We know that pharmacies are going to be available, some family doctors, and in some cases they were saying also schools. Now they say that they want to emphasize the fact that parents will be allowed to accompany their children to schools. Uh, we know 5 to 11 year olds, some of them might be feeling a little bit nervous about all of this, so making sure that parents can go along. But uh, the other thing we heard there, Michael, was that of those 112,000 doses, that the province is expecting uh, to receive. The first ones will arrive tomorrow, even more on Wednesday. Some of those first appointments will become available for parents and guardians to start booking um, as of Wednesday. So, of course, that's some really good news to families there. Uh, the other thing they said is as they go on, they're going to offer mobile clinics, walk-ins, trying to make this as easy as possible for parents uh, to really encourage those parents and guardians to make sure that their kids get vaccinated. As I said, uh, what we just heard in Saskatchewan follows the earlier announcement in Ontario. Uh, walk us through what we heard from the provincial government there. Yeah, so as of tomorrow at 8 a.m., so Tuesday morning, 8 a.m., parents and guardians in Ontario can go online and they can start to book these appointments. We know that some of those earliest appointments are going to be available uh, for Thursday. Uh, we know that this is going to be done in a variety of ways. We heard from the health minister that in some cases there'll be pharmacies, in some cases that might be a child's pediatrician, in other cases uh, it might be done through your local public health unit at a mass vaccination site, for example. So, again, really trying to make this as easy and straightforward for parents as possible. We know that there are about a million children uh, in the province of Ontario who are now eligible. Uh, and the other thing we learned in Ontario is that they're going to be following those NACI guidelines. So eight weeks between your first shot uh, and your second shot. Uh, when you're talking about those five-year-olds, it's for anyone born in 2016. So if you are turning five by the end of this year. And the other thing that we heard from Christine Elliott is that they are well aware that some parents might be a little bit hesitant. They know that about 30% of parents who've been surveyed say that they still have some more questions. Because of that, Elliot says that the province has teamed up with Sick Kids Hospital to try and provide more answers. Here's more of what she said. A lot of parents still have some concerns and still want uh, more information about the vaccines for younger children. And we do have a relationship with Sick Kids Hospital that you probably know about, that if parents want to speak with someone, they can certainly call the Provincial Vaccine Contact Centre. I think it's, it's natural that parents would have questions, and so we want to provide them with the resources that they need in order to make a decision for their child. And of course, those officials are hoping that the decision parents come to is to get their children vaccinated because the other thing that Elliot said is that about a third of new cases in Ontario are now in school age children. So uh, really important to try and make sure that they get those numbers up, that as many kids as possible uh, are vaccinated. Now, what about the rollout plan in other parts of the country, Hillary? Uh, what are we seeing so far? So some of those plans are starting to come out now, especially now that those vaccines have actually arrived here in Quebec, for example. We are expecting to learn some more details this week. But uh, for now, they've been saying that they're hoping Quebec is to get all those kids, 5 to 11, at least one dose by Christmas. That is the goal that they have. That's the target. They say that they'll use a combination of both schools as sites to vaccinate and then also mass vaccination clinics. Uh, Nova Scotia has said that they're hoping that by early December they can start to vaccinate Manitoba. Manitoba uh, has said that within a week of those vaccines arriving that they're quite confident that they can start to administer shots. But we are expecting to hear from even more provinces this week with more detailed plans of how they plan to get those shots into kids' arms. Okay, Hillary, thank you for that. Our Hillary Johnstone in Ottawa.